video we would learn how to generate cucumber reports after generating reports we can uh, use a, a npm module called cucumber html reports uh, we can uh, make them more viewable and readable uh, the reason we are using that module normally cucumber reports are not that great it's just uh, generate a JSON file so it's not useful uh, for uh, we can't say very useful they are useful but it's in JSON format so it's is, which is not readable and uh, not very uh, nice to view so they will be useful for only tools what we can do we can take the JSON file and we can generate a beautiful reports using uh, these uh, third-party libraries like uh, cucumber html reporter uh, that is a nice development uh, one of the developer created which is very good so what i can show you today i'll show you how to generate the report using cucumber and uh, using the cucumber html module uh, we can uh, create nice viewable HTML reports. Let's do it. First, I will generate uh, first run the cucumber feature file. After running the cucumber feature file, it will automatically generate a report in a JSON format. To do that, what we need to do, we can run with the cucumber.js using format, uh, type json and uh, give the file name and where to store that file. This will run our feature file. After running, it will generate a JSON report. Firefox closed and opened again. After running, it will close again. Closed. So if you see the reports folder is empty. If I touch anywhere, you can see that now the report is generated if you see this report it is in JSON format which is not very readable but using this JSON we can generate very nice reports which is uh, very nicely viewable and uh, we can read it properly and we can give it to our higher management to show our results. Uh, to do that, what we have to do, we need uh, two dependencies. One, uh, Cucumber HTML reporter that uh, can be installed from node uh, repo. let's download it if we see our JSON file we don't have any at the moment let's download it <laughs> download it the next thing uh, we need to download we need a tool uh, called gulp which is a task runner in JavaScript. 
we need that too. Let's go and check it in our, yeah, we have a Cucumber HTML reporter and Gulp, both. Actually, we don't need the 3.0.1. We need the older version of uh, Cucumber HTML reporter because uh, 3.0.1 has an uh, issue which is uh, not taking JSON format files and not generating HTML reporter. So what I can do, I can go and view the stable version on browser. So release this. 2.0.3 is a stable one. I'll take that. So uh, first I will in uninstall uh, zero point one. Let's install uh, Two point zero point three. Okay, now we have uh, two cucumber HTML reporter two point zero point three and the Gulp three point nine point one. Let's create on uh, a Gulp file in current working directory. Let's take this code from here, put it in Gulf file. It's just uh, we're just taking the Gulf as a required module, and we can take we are taking the HTML reporter required module. Then we are telling what type of report we need, bootstrap type and the JSON file from Cucumber reports. We are taking that and uh, we are specifying where to generate our report. I'm giving same uh, reports folder and with the name. Uh, report suit as scenarios. All scenarios uh, displayed as a suit. It's the same true. And the launching report, yes, true. After running, it will uh, launch. After running this task, it will launch the reports in any one of the browser. And we need to give this metadata. What app version we are using, which environment we are working, what browser we have tested, what platform in the running scenarios parallel or not, executed locally or remote. And I'm creating a task, cucumber in. Task type is cucumber report. And we need to uh, declare as a function. So whatever I am importing, reporter that we are generating reports. How to generate report? We are giving it this options object. Okay, let's run gulp. Our reports done. There you go. We have now beautiful reports and the terms file two scenarios passed. Metadata, whatever we have given, features, feature file, two scenarios, and I uh, gave some after scenarios completed uh, to print some text so this is the way we can generate uh, nice reports uh, 
using third party library cucumber html reporter the reason because uh, cucumber report generates only uh, very low level reports which are not uh, not very good to show it to high level teams to if these if you see these reports they are nice and uh, very readable um, thanks for viewing this video if you like it give a thumbs up thank you